Honestly, we're here real time. The final bell just rung. I don't know who won. I don't know how to score the fight. Let me mute until we hear the... So listen, right now we're here real time. August the 14th, 2015, I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live with RealCombatMedia.com. And the final bell for Tarver versus Antonio Tarver. You know, remember, he beat Roy Jones, Mason Align, Dixon, in um, Rocky Balboa, the final Rocky movie before the new one comes out, Creed, of course. And um, Philadelphia Steve Cunningham, who's been on the wrong, the wrong side of decisions multiple times in his career. So this is a tale of two fights. Depending on what you as a judge were looking for, now Steve Cunningham, Cunningham has some nice swelling under his eyes. Antonio Tarver looks as if he wasn't even in a fight, but depending on what the judges are looking for, Steve Cunningham, the more active, um, he, he showed more ring generalship. Antonio Tarver, the crisp, cleaner, more effective punches. Steve Farhood's card gives it to Tarver, 115 to 113. And um, me, if I was to give it to anybody, I would give it to Steve Cunningham because I'm a type of I'm the type of judge of, of a fight to where I would judge it off of um, the activity, the ring generalship, and the um, and, um, the only thing I can really give to Tarver was okay. Here's the punch stats: 450 punches thrown for a Tarver, 678 for Cunningham. Punches landed for Tarver, 141, 154 for Cunningham. Power punches, 241 thrown, 325 for Cunningham. 115 landed for Tarver, 101 for Cunningham. So when it comes to activity, you know, just as I said, oh, let's, let's hear what they have to say. I, this this fight was obviously much slower paced than the, than the, the previous fight, but I still appreciate the, the job that both these guys did tonight. I think you know Tarver just. So let's hear what the judges have to say. Make sure I'm recording. What he's supposed to do with his size and his youth and try to outwork Tarver. Then having a couple of words here, hard to tell if it's cordial or not. Well, you know what? I imagine this a little bit of old. Just listen it. I guess they're waiting for the um, judges. Uh, yeah, I heard the word respect out of Cunningham's mouth. Whether he was uh, giving it to Tarver or asking for it from Tarver, I'm not sure. But So listen, like I said, um, <clears throat> very, you know, Tarver's 46 years old. And um, if he loses this fight, then it's like, where does he go with his career? You know, he has a very successful commentating career. Um, he should stick with that. Let's see if they're... Are they announcing the winner? At ringside, Robin Taylor sees the fight one, 15 to 114. Having it for Tarver. The third and final judge at ringside, John Stewart, scores the fight. 114 to 114. The fight is judged a split draw. You know, can't be mad at that. It was almost impossible to call, and the judges can't be. You know, we can't be mad at that decision. Split draw. We don't know what to think about that one. Again, very, very tough. And you have a fighter in Steve Cunningham who is not known. You have a fighter in Steve Cunningham was not known as uh, being a knockout puncher. You have a fighter in Antonio Tarver who seemed to be all night going for the knockout punch. Um, do fans want to see a rematch? No. The winner of this would likely probably be in the running to get Deontay Wilder. If you don't know, Deontay Wilder is fighting on September the 26th. His mandatory is fighting on November the 4th, um, Alexander Povetkin. And that means that basically, in order for a Wilder versus Povetkin fight to happen, it will likely be in the spring or the, f or, or the early summer. So that would be enough for Wilder to squeeze in whoever he's fighting in on September and maybe squeeze in maybe Tarver 
or Cunningham um, in like January or maybe February or something like that, then he would have been ready for, but basically, you know, now it's like, where does these fighters go? I mean, for both of these fighters, it extends their career. You know, maybe we can see maybe a, um, maybe a Tarver versus a Chris Ariola. You know, Tarver's been fighting, he fought once in 2000, he fought twice in 2008, once in 2009, once in 2010, once in 2011, once in 2012, once in 2013, once in 2014, and now here we are, and we're in August of uh, 2015, he fought once this year. So it's like, you know, like, where does he go? And I don't like that, you know, cops is coming on now, so which means they're not going to do any post-fight interviews with, um with uh, Tarver or Cunningham because I actually wanted to see what Tarver of all people would have had to say. But as I said, if you don't know, I'm T-Street Controversy with RealCombatMedia.com. I cover every single major fight live. I would like to see a, I would like to see a Steve Cunningham versus a, um, you know, a Fred Cossey. Oh, wait. Did he fight Fred Cossey already or was that, that was a man, man, so for Fred Cossey? Yeah, I would like to see, you know, maybe a Tarver versus an Areola. Or a Tarver versus a Fred Cassie, you know? Or maybe a Tarver versus Eric Molina, I don't know, you know? I, I'm just saying that he didn't lose this fight. This is a fight that was a close fight, and depending on what kind of judge you were, you may have scored it for Tarver, you may have scored it for Cunningham, or you may have just did what the decision was tonight, a draw, because it was a hard fight to score. You know, so, I'm T Street Controversy with RealCombatMedia.com. And I cover every single major fight live. Please subscribe.